guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be diving into my movie journal. And I basically just do reviews of any movie or TV show that I watched. And it's all for this year, um, in 2021. First movie we got here is the movie Greenland. And it's kind of like this disaster movie. Um, it came out last year, but it never really came out in theaters. It's only... It was uploaded to Amazon Prime, so that's how I saw it. But um, it's kind of like a disaster movie, and I'm kind of into disaster movies. Those are like my guilty pleasures. But this one was really fun, and it was not nearly as cheesy as I thought it was going to be. Because most disaster movies are pretty awful. But yeah, this one was actually pretty good. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I really didn't see... The plot was coming, if I'm being honest. My attempt at drawing comment flying because if you know anything about the movie, it's about how this comet comes down and tries to destroy Earth. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just tried to draw some comments. That's basically all I did for this one. Obviously, if it's not like my favorite movie in the world, I try to condense it down into half a page. Um, but, you know, I thought I would have fun with this one and try to draw little drawings in there. So this next one is actually a TV series, and it's a true crime documentary, um, four episode series, and it's called Night Stalker, and it's actually about this uh, serial killer in the 1980s that was taking over Los Angeles, basically, and uh, it's honestly pretty trippy. It's a great documentary if you love those, um, and I love true crime documentaries. I think they're so freaking cool. Um, but yeah, this one is really, really creepy and really fast paced. Honestly, the four episodes go by so quickly, but I watched it so fast. I tried, I think I broke it down into two days, but I loved it. It's so good. Easily five stars. Really should check it out on Netflix if you can. Um, it does a really good job at like highlighting the victims. Um, and the family's point of views instead of like, you know, praising the serial killer because I feel like sometimes those documentaries do that and I feel like that's really sad because it should be focusing on the victims and the families because they're the ones that had to go through it. So, the next movie is Pieces of a Woman, which is the most incredible movie. It really does a great job at, you know, highlighting the rough hardships of becoming a mother and grief and womanhood and motherhood and just, it's so raw and there's a lot of trigger warnings in this movie, um, one being baby lost, so do not recommend it if that is hard for you to watch. It's hard for me to watch as it is, but if you can, stomach this movie. Vanessa Kirby is so incredible. I think she just got a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination and a Golden Globe nomination, which makes me so happy. I'm hoping she also gets an Oscar nomination as well. But yeah, this movie is stunning artwork. It, seriously grips you from the first scene it was incredibly hard for me to watch especially because not that I went through or anything like that but I just went through a lot of surgeries and you know just seeing the pain that she goes through is is pretty hard to watch but it is so freaking good it's a Netflix movie as well so a lot of people should have access to it so if you ever feel like crying this quote you kind of wouldn't understand 
person unless you watch the movie, so I won't spoil it, but um, it is so beautiful. I, when she said that, I literally gasped in the movie. It was, I was honestly stunned. <laughs> This movie, Sound of Metal, is so incredible. It's honestly nothing like I've really ever seen before. It has some of the best acting I've ever seen, which I'm so happy that Riz Ahmed is getting a lot of buzz right now um, for his acting in this movie. He has a bunch of nominations pouring in, which is well deserved. He is so good in this movie, um, and it's about a rock metal drummer who loses his hearing and he goes deaf and it's very interesting the way it's filmed it's really a craft it's really a craft um of its own kind and really awesome to watch i heard about this one on twitter and i was like oh my god i need to see this because i already knew it was going to be amazing i love riz from nightcrawler literally one of my favorite movies of all time so i knew he was going to be amazing in it and i'm just so happy he finally got the role that he deserves to showcase his acting skills and me and my boyfriend watched this oh, on amazon and we were so shook we by the end like it's a roller coaster for sure but the last scene is honestly some of the best work i've seen in cinema like it is just so beautiful at the end and I really recommend watching this if you just got like a still day and you just want to sit up on the couch and cry and watch a great movie. This one is seriously so good. This one also is on Amazon Prime, I believe. Promising Young Woman is getting so much buzz. Much better. <laughs> so Promising Young Woman is getting a lot of buzz for good reason. Um, this movie is witty, honest, cruel, um, had so much to say in one movie and I just honestly applaud it for taking the risks that it did and Carrie Mulligan is incredible. She's literally one of my favorite actresses. Every movie that she does is just stunning and not to mention she is stunning as well. Not like your average movie and it has so much, you know, political things to say, but oh my God, especially if you're a woman, you need to see this movie. Now, this movie also has a shit ton of trigger warnings. I honestly recommend watching the trailer first and you'll get the vibe of what this is about and see if this is something that you'll be able to stomach. But, oh my gosh, this is so good. The script is amazing. And this one also as well is getting so many nominations, which is so well, well deserved. <laughs> this movie is so good. And I highly, highly recommend it. And I feel like everybody needs to see this. Oh my gosh, you guys, this movie, The Call on Netflix, is so wild. <laughs> it is literally one of the craziest thrillers I've ever seen. Um, it is such a trip. It's a Korean movie, and it is dubbed on Netflix, so you don't have to like have subtitles or anything. Um, but it is so freaking wild. 
Like, I feel like, like I paused it to go to the bathroom at like 40 minutes into it and I w was literally like, holy shit, we still have so much to go. And like, there was already so many plot twists and I was like, holy crap, like how much more does this got? And it had so much more in store. It is like up and down and left and right and literally every minute that you're walking in, something happens, I swear. Not to mention the girls in this movie are phenomenal. Their acting is incredible. The screenwriting is amazing, obviously, because it it's just crazy. But yes, I highly, highly recommend this movie, especially if you like thrillers. This is such a fun trip and is honestly unforgettable. Like I will never forget this movie and I will always recommend it to people that really love thrillers because it is so much fun. This film, Burning, came out a little bit ago. I think it came out in 2018. Um, but it is so beautiful. It's a really, really slow burn thriller. Um, it's not really fast paced at all. It is really, really stunning. The acting is really good in this movie as well. It does have subtitles because it is a Korean movie as well. But it is so good. I swear, you guys. I've been watching a lot of Korean movies lately since Parasite. And they are just so much fun. The acting is just incredible. And I don't know if you guys know Steven Ewan from Walking Dead. He was Glenn. And, like, I love him. I've loved him forever. So this was super fun to watch with him in it. And him actually acting in the Korean language, which was really a trip to see and I hope he does more um, which I know Minari is supposed to come out soon which is his next movie and he's supposed to get nominations for that one as well I will be watching that guaranteed so Yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Um, I plan on uploading movie journal episodes maybe two or three times a month, so be on the lookout for that. And here's the final clip through. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!